Alright, so this time we're going to do something a little bit more advanced, but with the lessons that we've learned so far, um, I feel like we could be able to pull this off. So, today I'm going to be talking about linear speed. Yeah, I think I just scared a couple of the viewers right there who know about linear speed. Okay, so linear speed is the measurement of, you know, the speed of something. So, you know, it could be the measurement of, you know, of the Earth circling around the sun or a measurement of a satellite circling around the Earth. It, it just seems to have a circular movement. So, in this case, uh, I guess I use a clock. So, right, ignore, the arrows are just to show us a clock, that's not what I'm going to use for anything, um, but this arrow I am, because this arrow is going to be the second arrow, which, you know, measures seconds on a clock, and um, I just say this portion right here is 10.2 centimeters, okay? So that's the second hand. Sorry for my crappy art. But, alright, so for this one, the overall formula for linear speed, which I'll just call LS, is arc length. Arc length over time. Okay, so that shows that before we can even attempt to find the linear speed, we have to know what the arc length is, right? So let's get to finding that. So if you guys remember from a previous video, arc length is equal to pi times radius, right? So from here, you really had to kind of common sense everything out. So, in this case, we're given the radians right there. We're given it. It's the radian. The radius is 10.2 centimeters. But we had to find out what this theta is. So, like I said, theta is a degree measurement. And since no specific, we're, we're trying to find it for the whole entire clock. So that means it's going to be a full, full circle, a full circle, you know, degree measurement. So, in order to find that, we have to, so we know it's going to be 360 degrees, right? But we can't use that. We have to turn it into a radians. So what does 360 turn into a radians? Let's find out. Okay, so simplify that down. 360 over 180. So simplify that. It's going to be 36 over 18. And then, as we know, 18 can go into 36 uh, two times. So it's going to be 2 pi. Yeah. So that's what 360 degrees in radian form is. So now we have it completely set up. It's going to be 2 pi times 10.2. So two times 3.14 times 10.2. Mm. I'm going to do the math. And then you're going to come up with 64.05. Okay. Now, 
overall goal is trying to find out how long, well, how fast does the second hand go around? Like, how, how many centimeters does this have to go per second in order to make a full circle? And as we all know, a full circle around the clock is a minute. So, so that gives us our time right there. So time is going to be one minute. So now we have to do, and we all know, it'll be simpler if we turn this one minute into how many seconds it would take. So 64.05 over 60 seconds. And then you can just straight up divide it. Then you would come up with 1.07. Yeah. And then since we're doing it in centimeters up here, the same thing down here. And since we divided it by seconds, that's what we're going to put it out of. So it would take 1.07 centimeters per second. That's how fast the second hand is moving around the clock. And how much, how many, you know, it takes to get to a full minute. So, yeah. There's a linear speed.